Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Abnormal uterine bleeding is the bleeding from uterus that is longer than usual or that occurs at an irregular time. Bleeding may be heavier or lighter than usual and occurs often or randomly. There are several reasons behind abnormal uterine bleeding and the best approach is to ask targeted questions from the patient to rule out the causes by keeping differential diagnosis in mind. So I would like you to subscribe our channel and I assure you that this channel is in fact a milestone toward the journey of excellence. Now coming to our topic of abnormal uterine bleeding. Initially, when a patient presents with abnormal uterine bleeding, definitely initially you will uh, ask about all the demographic profile as we do in every history taking and also ask an open-ended question in which the patient will explain her problem in her own words. Then we should ask questions from her related to the menstrual history and related to the symptoms of abnormal uterine bleeding. Okay, and those symptoms include previous cycle pattern, LMP, onset of bleeding, duration of bleeding, amount of bleeding, history of flooding, passage of clots, associated pelvic pain, intermenstrual and postcoital bleeding. Okay, so related to the menstrual history, you will ask uh, several questions as we do normally in our routine practice. Then specific to the uh, abnormal uterine bleeding, we have to ask certain questions by keeping differential diagnosis in our mind, as I told you. So if a woman is in the premenopausal age group, in the reproductive age group, we have to ask questions uh, to rule out the pregnancy, first of all. Okay, and we have to ask questions related to the pregnancy like um, amenorrhea, morning sickness, breast changes, mood swings, frequency of micturition. We have to make sure whether she is pregnant or not. Secondly, related to the sexually transmitted infection, we have to ask certain questions like uh, we have to ask, uh, is there any complaint of foul smelling vaginal discharge or not? Then the cervical cancer should be kept in the mind and we have to rule out the malignancies like cervical cancer and endometrial cancer. Okay, so cervical cancer is another cause of abnormal uterine bleeding and we have to ask questions like, history of foul smelling vaginal discharge and the uh, vaginal blood uh, mixed with the vaginal discharge and several other questions related to the malignancy which I will explain it to you in the uh, um, questions related to endometrial cancer. So how would you rule out the possibility of endometrial cancer? Okay, we have to ask questions to assess the risk factors of uh, CA endometrium like uh, um, like obesity later on, uh, yes, we will check that uh, what is her BMI uh, while doing the physical examination and gynecological examination later on. But here we are just taking and we are emphasizing on the history. Okay, so risk factors like obesity, nulliparity, low parity, early menarche and uh, late menopause, these sort of the question needs to be asked from the patient and needs to be confirmed while history taking. Then we have to ask certain uh, questions related to the um, Pressure symptoms, okay, like uh, we have to ask about the uh, history of dyspepsia or ingestion, the shortness of breath, the constipation, dilated vein, lower extremity edema, hemorrhoids and piles, etc. Symptoms of metastasis needs to be asked and those include uh, complaints like headache, drowsiness, pleural effusions, jaundice, CLD, ascites and bone pain, etc. Now, there should be uh, certain questions related to the symptoms of malignancy, which include the weight loss, anorexia, loss of appetite, low-grade fever, cough with hemoptysis and constipation, etc. Urinary complaints are also there in patients with the uh, malignancy, especially the pelvic uh, organ malignancy. And uh, we have to ask questions like uh, urinary retention, any frequency or urgency, urinary difficulty, hematuria, etc. Then regarding the bowel complaints, we have to ask about bloating, diarrhea, tenismus, and hematochasia. Then uh, sometimes certain lifestyle uh, modifications, some lifestyle changes can bring uh, about the complaint of abnormal uterine bleeding. Like uh, we have to ask about any history of uh, eating disorders, stress, exercise, excessive exercise. These sort of the questions are needed to be asked from the patient. 
then uh, there is a known relationship between hyperprolactinemia and reproductive disorder uh, amenorrhea and irregular bleeding so ask from the patient questions about galacturia which is milky discharge from the breast in the non lactational period then we have to rule out the possibility of the presence of iucd so ask your patient about iucd or foreign body next we need to ask questions related to the uterine fibroid as well so ask about the history of uterine uh, fibroid if already diagnosed and if not already diagnosed then we need to ask the questions like any um, heaviness of the menstrual cycle pelvic pressure or pain difficulty in emptying the bladder constipation backache and the lack pain these are the questions are needed to be asked in order to rule out the possibility of uterine fibroid Next, we need to ask the question about the history of genital trauma as well. That might be the cause of abnormal uterine bleeding. Next, certain drugs can also increase the risk of abnormal uterine bleeding, such as oral contraceptive pills, the use of hormone replacement therapy, which is used in menopausal age group women, tamoxifen, which is used for the breast cancer and several other problems, and blood thinning medications like warfarin. and the prednisolone which is used for asthma or joint pain or any other problem or uh, the antipsychotic medications are being taken by certain patients like um, uh, zyprexa uh, with the generic name of olanzapine and ssri which are basically the antidepressant tablet selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors and uh, certain herbal medications can also cause the problem of abnormal uterine bleeding we need to ask about the use of any herbal medication as well like uh, ginkgo soy supplements etc next in the case of abnormal uterine bleeding we need to rule out the certain medical problems as well like past history of diabetes hypertension chronic medical illnesses these problem can also results in abnormal uterine bleeding next the hypothyroidism we need to ask the questions to rule out hypothyroidism as it can cause the abnormal bleeding like we have to ask about any history of tiredness being sensitive to cold weight gain constipation and muscle cramps etc next the cushing syndrome should be kept in the mind as well because that can cause the abnormal uh, uterine bleeding so we have to ask about history of irritability or emotional disturbance the history of hypertension any cardiac problem any uh, tumor presence um we, we have to check um the presence of any purple striae the skin ulcer the muscle wasting osteoporosis and the red round face and obesity so these sort of things are um should be uh, checked uh, while examining the patient and when we are asking uh, any question from the patient next come the adrenal tumors that might cause the um, abnormal uterine bleeding so for that ask the targeted questions of whether you have been diagnosed with adrenal tumor or not so basically the adrenal glands are present on the top of the kidneys okay and uh, these can cause the problem of abnormal uterine bleeding if there is any tumor or um, there is any other dysfunction in the adrenal gland okay so we have to ask questions like feeling of anxiety the panic attack headache heavy sweating perspiration muscle wasting etc next we need to ask the questions to rule out the possibility of hepatic and renal diseases bleeding diseases like von willebrand and hemophilia um is a very important cause of the abnormal uterine bleeding so the tendency of bleeding and the clot formation in the different parts of the body these are the questions are needed to be asked from the patient moreover coagulopathy thrombocytopenia uh, tb or history of contact with the tb these sort of the questions are needed to be asked from the patient uh, next we have to ask the questions related to anemia okay like we have to ask whether she is feeling easy fatigability palpitation dyspnea if yes then ask about orthopnea paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea and the chest pain as well in order to rule out the possibility of the cardiac issue as well 
scan, while taking the history uh, from the patient with abnormal bleeding, we have to ask questions about the symptoms related to menopause because uh, although she might not be in the menopausal age group, but some women may suffer from uh, premature ovarian failure. So ask about history of irritability, mood swings, hot flushes, joint pain, sleep problems, vaginal dryness, etc. Okay, so these questions should be asked from the patients and now I am telling you the complete list of abnormal uterine bleeding and that include pregnancy, STI, CS cervix, C endometrium, polycystic ovarian disease, IOCD, uterine fibroid, coagulation and platelet disorder, stress and lifestyle changes, hyperprolactinemia, hypothyroidism, gentle trauma, certain drugs, certain medical problems like diabetes and hypertension, and systemic illnesses like hypothyroidism, Cushing disease, adrenal tumors, hepatic renal disease, bleeding diastasis, TB, or history of contact with the TB. Okay, thank you so much. That was a little bit description about the uh, causes of abnormal uterine bleeding. Allah.